All right, a rectangular in-ground pool is to be installed. The engineer overseeing the construction project estimates that at least 1,408 meters cubed to earth and rocks need to be excavated. What are the minimum dimensions of the excavation if the depth must be 2 meters more than 1 quarter of the width and the length must be 12 meters more than 4 times the width? Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Let's, uh, let's uh, identify some variables here. So I'm going to let x represent the width in meters. And we can understand that um, the depth is 2 meters more than 1 quarter of the width. So I'm going to let 1 fourth x plus 2 represent the depth because it's 2 meters more than 1 quarter of the width and this should still also be in meters and also the length must be 12 meters more than 4 times the width so let 4x plus 12 represent the length in meters okay so what we want to do here is we want to find the dimensions of the excavation and we also want to understand that the volume here is given as 1408 meters cubed. And we know that volume, and this is assuming that this is a rectangular pool, so it's a rectangular prism, right? Volume of a rectangular prism here is length times width times height. So I'm going to create a volume equation as a function of x, right? So volume of x is equal to length, which is basically 4x plus 12 <clears throat> times width, excuse me, x times height or depth, which is basically going to be one fourth x plus two. Okay, now we can see that volume is purely a function of x now. And what I want to do here is I'm going to expand this guy out, right? So v of x is equal to four x squared plus twelve x times one fourth x plus two. Okay. And at this point, what you want to do here is you want to expand this guy out. Okay, so I'm going to expand this and this out, and then this guy and this guy. Okay, so when you multiply this, when you expand this guy out, you get 4x squared times 1 fourth x plus uh, 4x squared times 2 plus 12x times 1 fourth x plus 24x uh, out here. Okay, so. 4x squared times 1 fourth x is basically x cubed, right, because the 4s would cancel out. And you get 8x squared plus 3x squared, right, 12 divided by 4, 3x squared plus 24x, okay? Collect the like terms, so you get x uh, cubed, whoops, x cubed plus 11x squared plus 24x, okay? Now, this is basically your volume as a function of x. We also know that the volume here should be equal to 1408 meters cubed. Okay, so I can equate that. So x cubed plus 11x squared plus 24x is equal to 1408, okay? And now what you want to do is you want to solve for x, and the only way to solve for a polynomial equation, you got to set one side equal to zero. So I'm going to get x cubed plus 11x squared plus 24x minus 1408 is equal to zero. Now, in order for us to solve this polynomial equation, we actually need to factor this fully. So in order to factor this fully, we actually need to figure out one of the factors first, right? Now, a really quick way of doing this, we can actually use the integral zero theorem, right? And the integral zero theorem um, basically states that the potential factors that we can have are plus minus the factors of the constant, so 1,408 divided by the factors of the leading coefficient. Now you can imagine that there is a lot of these factors, so I'm just going to write a couple of these guys, excuse me. So you have plus minus 1, 2, um, we can also have, it looks like 4, right, 1408. Yep, yeah, we can have 4, right, we can have 8, Right, now let's just keep going like that. Right, and then this is divided by our leading coefficient. Now you can imagine that there's a lot of 
potential factors that can probably go into this number, right? Like 16 is also another one of them. Um, what to narrow down our, our our potential factors, the values that we can test into remainder theorem, what we can do is there is a there's a basically a, a shortcut method here. As long as a is equal to one in an expression of ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, you want to find certain potential factors, specifically three potential factors that can add up to b. Okay, and out of those three, one of those will actually um, be a potential factor. So it will be actually an actual factor, not a potential factor, right? So uh, in this case, our B value is 11, okay? Our B value is 11, and out of the potential factors, you want to find three that add up to 11. So we can actually notice here that um, 8, 2, and 1 can potentially add up to 11. And you want to consider plus, minus 8, 2, and 1. So out of these three, at least one will be a factor, an actual factor. So let's figure out which one actually is a factor. Whoops, let's go back to there. Right, so in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test um, each case out, right? So I'm gonna do f of one, and if I do f of one, I get negative 1,372, okay? So basically I'm plugging it into my equation here, right? And in this case, f of x, specifically, would be this. Okay, so this is my f of x, which is x cubed plus 11x squared plus 24x minus 1408, okay? So I'm plugging it into this and you can keep testing them out, you can try f of negative one, but it looks like it won't work. Eventually, if you plug in f of eight, you'll get zero, okay? So you can imagine that, right? You wanna find out of the potential factors, as long as a is equal to one, you wanna find three numbers that add up to the second term b. Okay, and out of those three terms, at least one will be an actual factor. So f of eight is equal to zero, we know that the factor is x minus eight. Now what you want to do here is you want to test to see if there are any other potential solutions because we know that if x minus 8 is a factor, right, one of the factors, if you did factor this fully, is x minus 8. And because you have x minus 8, um, you can say that x is equal to 8 meters. That's one of the solutions. But we want to figure out if there are other solutions present, right? So what we want to do now is let's do synthetic division, right? So I'm just going to kind of erase this uh, to make a little bit of a space. So I'm just going to raise some of this out. Okay, let's do synthetic division to see if there are any other potential factors, right? So you're going to do the synthetic division setup where we know one of our factors is 8, right? This is x cubed. This is x squared, x to the power of one, x to the power of zero. I'm gonna write the coefficients. There's a one here, there's 11 here, there's a 24 here, and there is a negative 1408 here. So I'm gonna bring down the leading coefficient, multiply it with my k value, so you get eight here, you get 19. Eight times 19 is basically 152. Okay, add these two together, so you get 176, and eight times 176 is actually positive 1408. So the remainder here is zero. So your, um, your quotient here is basically x squared plus 19x plus 176, right? And you can actually notice that this isn't factorable. And if you do try to solve for this using a quadratic equation, right, you can notice that it's not, um, you're gonna get decimal values, right? So we want discrete values. So technically, if I do factor this out, right, all of this, can be written out as x minus eight times x squared plus 19x plus 176 is equal to zero, and therefore x is equal to eight, right? So if x is equal to eight, we know that the length is, um, we know the width is eight meters, right? So therefore the width would be eight meters. The length here would be, um, we said the length here is four x plus 12, so four, times eight plus 12, which is 32 plus 12, which is 44 meters, right? So the length here is 44 meters. 
and the depth or the height here is basically one fourth x plus two, so one fourth times eight plus two, which is two plus two, which is four meters. Okay, so these are the dimensions of the pool.